Next up, we're going to take a look at how to paint. The main tool we're going to be using to paint our drawings is the paint tool, which is right up here. And let's go over to tool properties because that's where we're going to be able to see all the different, different options that we'll be able to use to paint our drawings. The basic procedure for painting anything is while you're using the paint tool, come over to the color palette, choose a color that you want to paint your object, and then with the tool, just lasso the strokes that you want to color. Now you may have noticed that while I painted that, it painted not only the strokes, but the inside of the strokes. And that's because there are a few different modes to this paint tool. What we just used right now is the paint mode, but there's also paint unpainted and then unpaint. So let's take a look at the paint tool, which we just used. In this case, when you use the paint tool on any object, it not only paints the stroke, but it paints anything that's sealed inside. Now I mentioned sealed inside because let's take a look and undo that. The paint will only fill an area that is completely enclosed. So I'm going to open up this triangle a little bit and then try that again. I'm going to choose the color that I want to, and this time I'll use green, and then lasso this. But notice it didn't color the inside, it only colored the strokes because the inside of this is not sealed off. And Toon Boom Storyboard Pro figures that you don't want to flood your entire canvas with that color. Also remember though, if you're just coloring strokes, you can use the selection tool to simply select strokes and then while they're selected, go over to the color bin and tap on a color and it will change the color to that. But getting back to the paint tool, what if you just want to fill in the inside of this triangle, but you don't want to color what's already been painted black? Okay, well then we'll go to the tool properties and that's where this mode comes in. It's called Paint Unpainted. And you'll see as this hovers over near the shape, it says PU for Paint Unpainted. And once again, I'll go over to our color bin. I'll pick out this blue and I'm going to select this object. But now it's only painting those pixels that have not been painted before. So the black has been painted before. It's painted black. The inside is not been painted anything. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to change the mode of this, which you can do up here too, to just straight paint, make the same selection, and you'll see it fills in and it colors the strokes. So there's a couple different ways to do that. It can be very helpful when you have different colored lines and different colored fills. Also down here is the unpaint mode. When the unpaint mode is chosen, it shows the letter U, and basically Unpaint mode will remove the paint from any area that you touch it in. So I just did a little stroke within that. I'm going to undo and do it again. I can tap on the inside and make that disappear. Or you could just run a selection stroke through it to make that color disappear. And if I select or I stroke through that entire shape, the whole thing becomes unpainted. 